In the beginning, there was chaos, an abyss, a void, silent and dark. This primordial state was an unfathomable emptiness, a canvas yet untouched. According to Hesiod, creation began with the emergence of Gaia, the Earth. Gaia arose from chaos, bringing with her the potential for life and form. She was the solid foundation upon which the cosmos would be built. From this initial state of disorder, time and order began to take shape. The division between night and day marked the beginning of measurable time. This transition from chaos to order set the stage for the creation of the universe and the birth of the gods. Gaia, the first goddess, was the earth in its mineral form. Rocks, soil, mountains, and plains. From her solid and seemingly inert state, Gaia became vibrant with the potential for new life. Her first creation was Uranus, the god of the sky, conceived spontaneously within her. Uranus, though a child of Gaia, was her equal. Their relationship was both intimate and dynamic. Gaia conceived Uranus to cover her, symbolizing the close and creative connection between Earth and sky. This union gave birth to the Titans, the first generation of gods. However, Uranus was a despotic patriarch. Each time Gaia gave birth, Uranus would hide the newborns deep within her, preventing them from seeing the light of day. This oppressive act was meant to ensure Gaia's undivided attention and submission to Uranus. Despite their creative power, these associations were fraught with conflict. Overwhelmed and distressed by Uranus's actions, Gaia sought help from her children. She crafted a diamond sickle and gave it to her youngest son, Cronus. When Uranus came to lie with Gaia, Cronus ambushed him and with a single stroke, castrated his father. This act of rebellion freed Gaia's children from their imprisonment within her. The severed genitals of Uranus fell into the sea, giving birth to new deities such as Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Blood from Uranus's wound also spawned the Furies, vengeful spirits of justice. Cronus, having overthrown his father, became the new ruler and married his sister Rhea. However, he too would face the cycle of conflict and rebellion, as foretold by his own actions against Uranus. The Titans, now free, began to shape the cosmos. Each Titan represented different aspects of existence, contributing to the order and structure of the universe. This new generation of gods symbolized the ongoing cycle of creation, conflict, and renewal that defined Greek mythology. Oceanus, the titan of the great earth-encircling river Oceanus, which the ancient Greeks believed surrounded the world. He represented the unending flow of water and the boundless nature of the ocean. Oceanus and his wife Tethys produced the river gods and ocean nymphs. Coeus, the titan of intellect and the axis of heaven around which the constellations revolved, he symbolized the inquisitive mind and the quest for knowledge. Coeus was also associated with the Oracle of Delphi. Creus, the titan of the constellations and the measure of the year. Creus was linked to the southern constellations and represented the heavenly order and time's passage. He fathered important figures like Astraeus, the god of dusk. Hyperion, the titan of light and observation. He symbolized the power of sight and illumination. Hyperion, along with his sister Theia, fathered Helios, the sun, Selene, the moon, and Eos, the dawn, who represented the celestial bodies. Iapetus, the titan of mortality and craftsmanship. He symbolized the human condition and the capacity for skill and creativity. Iapetus was the father of Atlas, Prometheus, Epimetheus and Menoetius, who played significant roles in human mythos. Theia, 
the tightness of sight and the bright blue sky. She embodied the sparkling light of the clear sky and was the mother of Helios, Selene, and Eos. Thea represented the beauty of the heavens and the power of vision. Rhea, the tightness of fertility, motherhood, and generation. Rhea was the mother of the Olympian gods and goddesses, including Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, Hades, Demeter, and Hestia. She symbolized the nurturing aspect of nature and the continuity of life. Themis, the titaness of divine law, order, and justice. Themis personified the natural and moral order of the universe, including the customs and laws that governed society. She was the mother of the Hore, seasons, and the Moirai, fates. Mnemosyne, the titaness of memory and remembrance. She represented the power of memory and the preservation of history and knowledge. Mnemosyne was the mother of the Nine Muses, who inspired the arts, literature, and sciences. Phoebe, the titaness of the bright intellect and prophetic wisdom. Phoebe was associated with the Oracle of Delphi and symbolized the power of prophecy and enlightenment. She was the grandmother of Apollo and Artemis. Tethys, the titaness of the nourishing flow of water. Tethys represented the nurturing and life-sustaining qualities of water, and with Oceanus, she mothered the river gods and the Oceanids, nymphs of springs and streams. Cronus, the youngest titan, the god of time, particularly destructive, all-devouring time. Cronus symbolized the inevitable passage of time and the cyclical nature of the universe. He overthrew his father Uranus and ruled during the Golden Age until he was overthrown by his own son, Zeus. The Titan's offspring further enriched the cosmic order. The union of Tethys and Oceanus produced countless river gods and sea nymphs, while Themis and Zeus gave birth to the Horae, goddesses of the seasons and the fates. These mythological figures not only explained natural phenomena, but also provided a framework for understanding human experiences and the passage of time. Understanding the symbolic significance of these myths is crucial as it reveals the ancient Greeks' attempts to interpret the world around them. Through personification and storytelling, they explained complex concepts like the natural order, human emotions, and societal norms. The myths provided a means to convey moral lessons, cultural values, and existential truths, reflecting the interconnectedness of all things. The Greek creation myth is profoundly rich with symbolism, offering layers of meaning that reflect both the natural world and human experiences. At the very beginning, chaos represents the primal state of the universe, a vast, empty void a blank slate from which all things emerge. Chaos embodies the concept of potentiality, a formless state waiting to be shaped into existence. This symbolism resonates with many creation myths worldwide, where a void or primordial darkness precedes creation. Gaia, the first deity to emerge from chaos, symbolizes the earth and the nurturing aspect of nature. She represents the fertile ground from which life springs. Gaia is not just the physical earth, but also the embodiment of motherhood and fertility. Her character illustrates the Greeks' reverence for the earth as a life-giving force. The nurturing aspect of Gaia is further highlighted in her role as the mother of all living beings, including the Titans and various other deities. Uranus, conceived by Gaia, represents the sky and the overarching order. His presence signifies the protective and encompassing nature of the heavens. The union of Gaia and Uranus symbolizes the intricate connection between the earth and the sky, a dynamic relationship essential for the creation and sustenance of life. This union reflects the natural phenomena observed by the ancient Greeks, the sky covering the earth, rain fertilizing the soil, and the cycles of day and night influencing life on Earth. The relationship between Gaia and Uranus is emblematic of the interdependence between the Earth and the heavens. 
This connection is crucial for maintaining balance and harmony in the natural world. The sky's role in providing weather, light, and protection is mirrored by the Earth's role in nurturing and sustaining life. This duality and interdependence are central themes in many ancient cultures, emphasizing the balance needed for life to thrive. The castration of Uranus by his son Cronus is a powerful symbol of rebellion and the cyclical nature of power. This dramatic act signifies the overthrow of old regimes and the birth of new ones. It highlights the inevitable struggle for dominance and the renewal that follows destruction. The act of castration also symbolizes the end of Uranus's tyrannical reign and the beginning of a new era under Cronus. This theme of generational conflict and the transfer of power is a recurring motif in Greek mythology, reflecting the natural cycles of growth, decay, and renewal. The violent act of Cronus against Uranus is not merely an act of rebellion, but also a necessary step for the continuation of life and the cosmos. This cycle of conflict leading to renewal can be seen in many mythological narratives, where old gods are overthrown by new ones, symbolizing the constant evolution and transformation inherent in the universe. From the severed genitals of Uranus, new deities emerge, underscoring the theme of creation arising from destruction. The blood of Uranus gives birth to the Furies, spirits of vengeance, and Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, born from the sea foam. Aphrodite's emergence from the sea foam symbolizes beauty and life arising from the chaos and violence of Uranus's downfall. This contrasts sharply with the dark and vengeful nature of the Furies, demonstrating the dual aspects of creation, beauty and retribution, love and anger. Aphrodite, emerging from the sea foam, is one of the most striking symbols in Greek mythology. Her birth represents the idea that beauty, love, and life can emerge from chaos and destruction. Aphrodite is not just a goddess of physical beauty, but also symbolizes the creative and regenerative forces of nature. The sea foam from which she is born connects her to the primal waters, a source of life and a symbol of purity and renewal. Her emergence from the sea illustrates the transformation of chaos into harmony and order, a theme prevalent in many creation myths. In stark contrast to Aphrodite, the Furies, or the Erinyes, born from Uranus's blood represent the darker aspects of creation. They are spirits of vengeance and justice, enforcing moral order by punishing those who commit heinous crimes, especially within families. The birth of the Furies highlights the Greeks' understanding of balance in the cosmos. For every act of creation and beauty, there is a counterpart of destruction and retribution. This duality ensures that the cosmos remains in balance, with justice prevailing over chaos. The archetypal significance of these figures resonates deeply within the human psyche, offering timeless lessons and insights. The Greek creation myth emphasizes the interconnectedness of all things and the necessity of balance. The interactions between Gaia, Uranus, Cronus and their offspring illustrate the dynamic interplay between creation and destruction, order and chaos, and the eternal cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. This interconnectedness reflects the Greeks' holistic view of the universe, where every action has a consequence, and every element is part of a greater whole. By examining these myths and their symbolism, we gain a deeper appreciation for the ancient Greeks' profound understanding of the world. These myths are not mere stories, but encapsulate the essence of human existence, natural phenomena, and the moral order. They remind us of the enduring power of myth to convey complex truths and to connect us with the fundamental forces that shape our lives and the cosmos.
If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family who might be interested in the topic. See you in the next video.